Good day all. Thought I'd ask a question. What's the number one tool you use in your reef tank? For me, it's a good old-fashioned turkey baster. I do like to get in my tank and I actually find it kind of therapeutic. Just sit there and stir the sand up. You usually do this Friday before I do my full tank maintenance on Saturday. Get it all turned up. And then I'll usually hit it on Tuesday or Wednesday and just kind of stir the bed up, get it going. <clears throat> After I get the front done, and you can see right there, I'm actually hitting one of my rock nims. They're quite used to it. But anyway, like I was saying, once I get the front done, which only takes a few seconds, I'll just go to the back, really get it going. Not a whole lot of debris. Kicking up a little bit now. And I'll just hit all the corals and cells. Make sure they get it, and then about midway through, I'll just go ahead and turn on storm mode. Which I'm having a fun time finding it right now. There it is. <clears throat> You'll see the storm come on here in just a second, which are all the bubbles that'll be coming out of the return. There they are. I've got it hooked up to both tanks now, so it's really kicking it up, but do a little bit of basting while it's on as well. Really is kind of therapeutic doing this. And the bubbles will attach to the lighter detritus and so forth. And help just get it out of the tank. You don't want to do it too long during the day. No reason to. About 20 minutes is it at the most. Sometimes less than that even. You'll be able to easily gauge it yourself after you do it a few times. You'll start understanding. As you can see, the corals absolutely don't seem to mind one bit. A few of them will close up as you're going. But they're used to it. <clears throat> so basically, now you'll see the storm modes going on. You've seen what's happened. I'm exporting a lot of uh, detritus at the moment. And then I think the second most common tool I use, probably just a good old painter's brush on a long stick. And just kind of even it all out. It'll, it won't stay like this, but <laughs> maybe an hour if I'm lucky. Because uh, my goby will come along and do what he wants to the tank. But hey, it's neat for me for a few minutes. Oops. And that's it. Pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Keeps the tank clean. <laughs> As you can see, a lot of people say that their euphilia really starts sloughing off when you've got micro bubbles going well. 
I'm blowing bubbles like nobody's business right here. It's like a storm on the reef. And my euphilia don't have that going on a little bit here and there, but that's it. Because this comes on every night. And it's on from 10 o'clock at night till 6 o'clock in the morning. They slough off, get all that away, and well, you can see how big and fluffy they are. They don't seem bothered by it one bit, and if anything, they are actually growing. The one in front, right there itself, started off with one head. Let's see, I got that one in, I believe I got it in late April, early May. Here we are, December, and we're at seven heads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven heads now. So, it's definitely growing. Maintenance on the tank. Saturday, I'm doing a water change, two gallons, which is 13%, uh, I believe. I'd have to look at the numbers, so don't quote me. Gets dosed with all for reef on the same day, on Saturday. I'll give it two milliliters. Amino acid, it'll get two milliliters every day. Doesn't matter water change day or not, two milliliters. One milliliter of vibrant. That's what this tank is getting right now. Feeding wise, once a week with Reefroids and then once a week with Mysis. As far as what's in the back, same thing that I've always had back there. There's a, two carbon pads and just two poly pads. Uh, I'm got actually it's poly batten now. Nine dollars on sale at Hobby Lobby for I think it was 25 yards. Yeah, that'll last a couple years. <laughs> Can't pass that deal up. Cleanup crew, Trochus, Nacerus, uh, Hermits. What else is in there? Turbo. Uh, of course, I've got a Sand Sifting Star in there now. The Gobi, my sixth line, who I don't know where he's at. He's usually out and being friendly. And the goby, when I'm stirring the sand, is usually sitting there trying to eat from the baster. So, just thought I'd ask everybody, what's your number one tool? Mine is that turkey baster, without out a doubt in my mind. And then the number one thing I think that really keeps this tank just super clean is storm mode, which, as you can see, it's on right now. It'll get all that detritus and lift everything out and seeing how it has been on since day one of this tank going on almost a full year let's see year in January and it's not harming any of my corals you can see the growth in every one of them and all the videos that I've done pictures that I posted you tell me is it worth it I think so keeps my tank clean so hope everybody has a wonderful Christmas and we'll see you at the next update.